episode of Author Fan Face Off. We get one great author, one super fan, one fabulous book by that author, and we see who knows the book better. I am the Leaping Librarian, Stacey Ratner, and Woo-hoo! my fabulous host is author Steve Shankin. And today, as you already saw, we have Eugene Yelchin, the award winning author of many books. Focus on the genius under the table, which is um, his memoir, and we're just so thrilled to have you today. I had a book group for this book back in the winter, and the and um, loved it, reading it with fifth graders, and we we laughed, we cried. It was just so great. So I'm so happy to have you here with us today. Thank you so much. So happy to be here. Thank you, Stacy. And Steve is going to introduce your. Yeah. Challenger. <laughs> so Eugene, yeah, you look nervous and maybe you should be because your uh, challenger yeah, today is yeah. Avi, a fifth grader from Pennsylvania. And he's a man of many parts, Avi. He's many, many interests, including karate, piano, skiing, fishing, math, science. We're going to talk later, Avi, about quantum entanglement. What is that? Can you explain that to us later? I can maybe. try. No pressure, no pressure. But what we're really going to talk about is the genius under the table. So Stacy has the first two questions. Take it away. All right. So Avi, this is for you. Evgeny's parents feel he has no talent. His brother, on the other hand, does. What is it? Figure skating. There you go. Right you got away. it. You got yes, it. Yes, we talk a lot about talent in this book. Yes. Eugene, when Evgeny's family was in Moscow, an American tourist gave Victor this. Yeah, he did, actually. (laughs) He gave him a stick of juicy fruit gum, and we almost got in trouble for it. Yeah. And then, you know, and then he chewed it for a long time. And it was it was fairly common, actually, to to sort of pass. You know, luckily he was my brother, but you could also get to use chewing gum from a friend and it was perfectly okay. All right, Avi. <laughs> At lights out time in the apartment, Evgeny's father was constantly demanding the return of this item. The pencil. Yes. Write right down brilliant thoughts. That's, that's right. right. To write down his brilliant thoughts. Is brilliant. That's right. But what, what do you think he was really trying to write, though? Um, I don't know. Do, do you remember what what he tells? Oh, poems. Good man. That's right. Mm. That's right. Yeah, he was a he was a frustrated poet. Mm. All right, Eugene. The first time Evgeny heard American rock and roll music, it was on a record made of this. Yeah, X-ray photograph. <laughs> That's right, and and. Okay, there's a long story about that, but let's let's keep going. All right, Avi. What did Evgeny's family use for toilet paper? Ripped up pieces of newspaper. <laughs> All right. And then sort of in the same realm, Eugene. Uh-huh. When he was little, he was afraid his mom would defect, but he said this word instead. Mm. Defecated? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She would use French in a kind of in a very weird way. Her French was was bad. She knew all the terminology of the ballet that she needed for work. But other than that, I think she just used those. Do you need to go pee or do you need to go poo? And she would only say it in French, but really loud. So everybody could hear it. <laughs> All right. You guys are experts. We we expected that, though. Oh, Avi. So, um, yeah, these last questions just come up one time in the book. Avi, when Victor, he was a competitive figure skater, and he was told he needed to lift weights to get stronger, what did he use for his barbell? He used Yogeni as a barbell. <laughs> yes, that's a great, a great image in the book. It really we, yeah. is. Right. And you say he wasn't quite heavy enough to make a proper barbell. Bed, no? That's right. That's, yeah, I know. That's funny. And as you mentioned, um, your mother being uh, involved, uh, very important in the ballet and, and a huge 
proponent of Mikhail Brishnikov and even knew him, right? Yeah, yeah. Will did. Yeah, wow. That's amazing. So Yevgeny's mother bought this from Mikhail Brishnikov and gave it to Yevgeny. What was the item? Oh, how can I forget the item? <laughs> it was my first pair of blue jeans. And, ah, yeah. and then they were they were like this. I mean, yeah. She I think she paid 40 rubles for it, which was a lot because she would only get I think her monthly salary was 90 rubles. She mm. Almost half of her monthly salary wow. went into this present. It was a big deal. All right. All right. All right, Avi, last two questions here. The great Russian poets Mikhail Lermontov and Alexander Pushkin both died in this way. They got shot in pistol duels. <laughs> Who knows that? Who uh, knows oh that? my God. I can't even pronounce their names. And you're just like. <laughs> so true. So true. Yeah. Okay. And Eugene, Evgeny's dad stood in line all night to buy a book by this poet. Uh, yeah. Mandelstam. Wow. Yeah. Do I? I do. Uh, oh, it's in my house. I actually have a copy. Not the one that he purchased, but actually have a copy of the same, mm. different edition, but the same book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, we we sort of knew you guys would be really, <laughs> really smart. And so we prepared a bonus question. And if you think you know the answer, just just let me know. Raise your hand. OK, this is for this is for everything. All on the line. One question. Here we go. There, there's a scene where they go, uh, Evgeny and his dad go to the bathhouse. So when they come home from the bathhouse, they stop for a snack. And I want to know what they each ordered. They each bought one item. I think I know. Okay, the dad, go ahead. The dad got a mug of foamy beer and he got a prehistoric looking salted fish. Oh, that's right. Good job. Congratulations, oh, nice detail. God. Good job. Very really, good. Yeah, and, and and you're describing it so well because it's not just described in words, but in pictures as well. And I can also picture that that dried up salty fish. All right. Which was probably delicious. Yeah. The, oh, really good. The Russian word for it is vobla. 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 It's a dried. It's it's about this this big. Well, they come no bigger than this. Yeah. And it's and it's dry and salted for God knows how long. So indeed, it looks like you see something in the museum, but tasted <laughs> very well, very very good. That's cool. Yeah. Well, wow, congratulations, Avi. Avi, bravo! You you, you <laughs> won! <laughs> Yay! And you too, yeah. Eugene. You did very well as well, sir. Yeah, I was trying, but Avi is unbeatable. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's all of that. Oh my God. It's all of that. It's all of that. It's all of that. <laughs> this is a model I made when pandemic started. I made the Battle of Waterloo with Napoleon in it. The whole battle. I just I just made I just went crazy. And I this is a collection. I don't know if you guys can see, but this are these are paper theaters, German from uh, from early, uh, come mid 1800s, I think, or oh, 19, yes, 1800s. And I have a big collection of it. I, I, I found it on auction. I don't know if you can, you can even see. Can I you can, see now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Where? It's like a museum. It is yes. a museum. It's really stupid that I, I do this. Because Not at all. Not at all. It's, it's impossible to focus. Right. I can see it, that. I can yeah, see you, that. I just, instead of working, I start looking at stuff. Anyway, here we are.